guys, so I uh, finally got up to where I'm going to be doing some bear hunting this weekend. Uh, it's a long drive, roughly about seven hours from my house to get here. And as you saw in the time lapse, I just put this new tent that I got together. It's an REI Passage 1. This is a new tent. I actually picked it up this week. I decided that I wanted to try something different uh, than the hammock. And so far I did spend one night in it already just to... Uh, on the way up here we kind of split the trip into two days and and I set it up last night actually in the dark and uh, this tent sets up very easily and I'm very pleased with it so far the one night I spent in it you know being 6'4 and this being a, a one person tent I, I slept quite comfortably it's spacious enough for me in there and with the uh, vestibule it's got plenty of room for my gear but I'll do a, f a more in-depth full review on the tent later. As it is right now, I'm just trying to get set up. We're gonna eat some lunch and, and get out and do some scouting. off from camp and just uh, hiked down into a draw and for a little bit I was just you know bushwhacking my way through and side hill and some stuff but I seem to popped out onto a trail of some sort and I know that there's some trails going off into the wilderness here um, that I've seen on the maps before on the maps that I looked at so you know I'm gonna keep just kind of working down this trail and uh, my goal is to get up on a high hill somewhere where I can kind of see a little bit and see a little ways and just sit in glass for a while. I could see you don't see any civilization whatsoever it's just I mean it's just an amazing amazing area to uh, just sit and look at So at this point, um, I'm starting to head back. I kind of played a little bit too long. It was just, I don't know, I mean, it's just so awesome. I just kind of, kind of let excitement kind of overtake maybe uh, good common sense and stayed a little longer. I still probably got about two miles to get back to camp and as you can see, it's gotten dark, but uh, there's a pretty good trail uh, that I can see and there should be no problem. Plus I got my GPS and camps marked, so. But anyways, I'm going to just uh, kind of keep plodding down the trail here and uh, I can't wait, pretty much can't wait till tomorrow and get out and check out some more of this area. Alright, I don't know how good you guys can see this, but obviously I'm still on my way back. But I was walking along the road and I know they do run cattle up here, but you can see there is an old corral up here. This would be quite the find if uh, you, if I actually were lost or just could not make it back. I'm pretty sure that uh, I could make it through a night and something like this pretty easy. Anyways, I gotta keep walking. I'm a little further than I thought I was. I'm like a mile away as crow flies, which of course is further in real world. Alright, so made it back to camp. Uh, ate, 
and uh, kind of relax by the fire for a little bit. And now it is time for some sleep. I am flat exhausted. But uh, anyways, as you can see, I'm inside my new tent. Um, I'm really liking this thing so far. You know, for me being six foot four, I feel for a one-person tent, it gives me plenty of room. As you can see, I mean, my head's like boom right here against the tent, and my feet are, you know, also pretty much you know, right against the tent being stretched out but I'm not like pressed up against the tent by any means but I tell you what if you were any taller than six foot four you're you're probably too tall for this tent to really enjoy it but <clears throat> for the most part I don't like sleep on my back I usually sleep on my side a little bit tucked up so uh, it's not really a problem and the nice thing is, is I actually can sit up in this tent and that's a was a big deal to me as far as you know especially if you were dealing with some really bad weather and you found yourself having to get dressed or change clothes in the tent that it was important that I could actually sit up in the tent I, anyhow tomorrow I want to get up I want to get back out and do some more poking around um, if I can I'd like to get set up somewhere where maybe I could kind of watch a hillside or something as the Sun came up and see if I see anything moving around so as of right now, going to bed, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, good morning guys. So, I didn't really get up as early as I wanted, I'm actually just starting to kind of mess around, get around now. We had a storm coming in the middle of the night, and drop a bunch of hail and stuff on us, and, and it's really, really windy out there right now, so I've kind of kind of been lazy and not uh, got out of the tent. Speaking of the tent, I have to say I am even more happy with it now considering the fact, like I said, we just got hailed on and it was, I mean, you can still hear the wind out there, but we've had some few gusts come through here and it's blown on my tent pretty heavily and at this point I'm happy because I'm, the tent's still here, I'm still dry and my gear's still dry and so that's good, but I am going to start getting up now, uh, for one, i got to pee, and two, I'm getting kind of hungry and I want to make some tea as well, so get some hot tea in me, so. Alright, so now I'm, I got my tea made, and now we're cooking up a little spam. Kind of looks like maybe this weather will pass a little bit, and we'll, uh, maybe get back to some nicer weather but right now I just want to get something hot in my belly all right so we backed out of the area we were in yesterday and we've moved to the most southern part of the unit and we're actually right now just getting our camp set up in an actual campground and we're going to use this as our base camp and then we're going to go out on quads from here uh, to cover and check out some more ground so I'll kind of bring you guys along as uh, as we get along as we get going all right guys so we're all done for the weekend uh, this is the last night we're here tomorrow we're getting up early to make the seven hour trek back home uh, had a, a really great time. This is a awesome area. Um, hate the fact that it's actually seven hours away from me because I would love to spend a lot more time exploring this. But as it is, I do, you know, obviously have this bear tag, so I'll be back. I'm guessing around first part of May, and I'll come up here for uh, five or six days and hunt for bear up here, which that will be that'll just really be an awesome time because like I said this area is just amazing I'll you know I didn't show a lot today you know in fact um, I'll show you a couple clips here where a couple views and stuff like that but I mean at some point it was just like there was just one awesome you know view after another and I just didn't you know know how many to just continue showing because that was you know the, mainly what I was doing on this trip was just checking out area and just kind of learning a little bit about the area 
as that it goes, uh, we'll call this video an end. Uh, like I said, we're going to be up here and out of here in the early in the morning. I probably won't have a chance to really video, so um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.